Monster Truck fans, welcome back to another video on my channel and I'm going to be showing you the trucks that I found uh, today if you saw my in-store find video. Uh, uh, I'm going to start with the bigger bag which has, uh, um, obviously if you saw my in-store find video, uh, you'll know that I found Case H. Uh, found the top four here all i need is that bone shaker but we're gonna start uh with the carbonator extra x double extra large all right there's the car and here is the truck uh i will say this is pretty cool oh and the uh entire and the bottle opener part is die cast Ah, uh, so that's pretty cool. I have heard that this actually works. Um, I could be wrong. I'm not really going to test it. But this is such a cool truck. Um, and a very unique casting. Uh, Alright, so let's take a look at the graphics here. Uh, ooh, the top is transparent. That's pretty cool. Got the Moss Trucks logo, Hot Wheels, Carbonator, Double Extra Large. Or, oh, no, no. Double Extra Lime. Excuse me. I, oh, I, I didn't know this is a flavor. Okay. Lol. Um, you got the bubbles there, like it's fizz and then some stripes and then the Hot Wheels logo and you got some stripes going down the uh, top there. Hot Wheels logo for the bottle cap, which is also the grill. Same stuff going on here. And then the bottle opener is also is supposed to be like a spoiler. Um, so yeah, this is. This is a pretty cool truck and it's also has a lime green chassis lime green roll cage chrome chassis and uh chrome rims so yeah that is the first truck the carbonator extra extra lime and then the next the next truck we're going to take a look at is the uh tiger shark uh, crash squad without further ado let's open it up okay so let's move that crush car out of the way here is the tiger shark um so obviously the crash squad is supposed to be a series where the truck looks like it was damaged in freestyle so yeah it's the so it's the original tiger shark paint scheme but now all beat up and stuff so let's take a look at the side here. Uh, you can see it's got like some rust and some like buffs and scratches on it. Uh, scratches across the eye and the teeth. Uh, more scratches and dents all over the top here. Uh, some looks like it, yes, looks like the uh, side here is dented where the eye is. Uh, So yeah, there, yeah, um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty dented, uh, um, all over the place, yeah, just rust, scratches, and dents all over it, very, very, inter very interesting, uh, um, I hope they do more trucks from this series, uh, next year, I think it'd be pretty cool if they did, like, Maybe V8 Bomber, um, or Demo Derby. I don't know how they do Demo Derby, though, but V8 Bomber would be pretty cool for the Crash Squad series. And it's got a, I don't know, some, some, uh, so it's got a white roll cage and then a gray chassis with the new rivet mold. So I, so this is the modified portion of the shark body. Um, and then these charcoal gray rims. So yeah, that is the Crash Squad Tiger Shark. And then the next one we're gonna take a look at is the Piranha X Wreckers. All right, so here it is, the X Wreckers Piranha. Um, and this one is a perfect choice because you can actually ski it you can actually the, 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 i cannot talk today goodness because you can actually see the whole x-ray and the actual skeleton of the piranha uh so 
here on the side. It's got the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks logo. Uh, there's actually texture. Um, oh no, it's just the regular bolts casting. Um, so yeah, and then you got like the bones of the main body of the piranha and then then this is supposed to be the piranha skull and then it's even got some and then then the skeleton of the teeth are printed on the bottom that's pretty cool and then same stuff on this side and the top is the spine of the piranha so that's pretty cool and then it's got a black roll cage black chassis and these teal blue rims just like the rest of the x wreckers I'm excited to see what the other ones are going to be. Um, let's let's look at uh, let's look at Piranha's uh, packaging. There's five of them, so two more to go. So yeah, that is the X Wreckers Piranha, and then the last Case J truck I found. Uh, like I said, I found all of them except the Bone Shaker. The Masters of the Universe Skeletor, which might be my favorite of the case. Let's check it out. All right, here it is. Skeletor from Masters of the Universe. And it has a matte finish, which is pretty cool. And the casting is like a tow truck. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, as you can see, the hood is... The hood and the grill is Skeletor's face. And it looks like it has, uh, it looks like the engines in its mouth. That's pretty cool. You can see, like, the zoomies coming out of there. That's pretty cool. Um, and there's, uh, some kind of skull thing with a, the little toe hitch with the wrecking ball. Uh, looks like more exhaust pipes on the side there. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty wild casting. Uh, look at there, there's Skeletor's eyes for the windshield. Very cool casting. And the entire... No, oh, nope, just the... Just this piece is die cast uh, uh, for the casting. And then it's got a purple roll cage, a teal blue chassis and purple rims. So yeah, that is the Skeletor. And then, uh, all right, so that was all the trucks I got from Case J. Now I'm gonna show you uh, the other stuff that I got. So, uh, Target has another exclusive set and they have a series two of the Jurassic World. So the first Jurassic World truck we're gonna take a look at is Beta. All right, here it is. We got the Beta, um, pretty cool truck. Um, it, from what it looks like, I think Beta is like a experimental clone of Velociraptor Blue. So yeah, Beta and the Gigantosaurus, which I will be reviewing in a minute, are the only two new ones from Series Two of the Jurassic World. The other three are repeats: the Indoraptor, uh, Velociraptor Blue, and the um, what is it called? The, uh, oh, I remember the, uh, uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex dairy delivery. So let's take a look at beta. So it's, so the main color is teal blue and it shows the beta dinosaur on the side there, the Jurassic World symbol, Hot Wheels Monster Trucks logo, and then a little forest background, nothing on the grill, uh, top there, Jurassic World badge. More of the forest uh, color, Hot Wheels logo, Jurassic World logo. Uh, same stuff going on here and on the tailgate. says Monster Trucks with the uh, uh, forest background. It's got a translucent orange roll cage, chrome chassis, and yellow rims. So that is the Jurassic World Beta. And then, last but not least, the... Um, um, other, the other new truck from the Jurassic World, uh, series, because like I said, uh, uh, which is the Gigantosaurus, because 
the other three are repeats so only beta and gigantosaurus are the only new ones from series two of the jurassic world trucks so without further ado let's open it up all right here it is the in the gigantosaurus and obviously it's the new uh casting of the suv uh because this is based off of town hauler i think it's just for the town hauler where the suv is going to get the new casting so i think this is supposed to be uh town so i think this is supposed to be so i think the gigantosaurus is supposed to be based off of town hauler uh if i'm not mistaken uh Demo Derby is technically Town Hauler, so Demo Derby, I hear, I heard, got the new casting as well. So yeah, who knows? Maybe they might do it for the other SUV trucks. I don't know, though. But that's not the point. Let's get to the review of the Gigantosaurus. There's the Gigantosaurus Dinosaur, Jurassic World badge, Hot Wheels Monster Trucks logo, and then the ecosystem background. Uh, the base color is like a Zamac like a Zamac Chrome, I think. Yeah, a Zamac Chrome. And then you got the Gigantosaurus head and then its tail on the top, Hot Wheels logo, Jurassic World badge and the Jurassic World logo, uh, Hot Wheels monster trucks on the tailgate. Uh, uh, same stuff going on here. Oh, actually, no, no, no. It's a different decal on this side. Uh, this time it just shows its head um, instead of the whole dinosaur. And then the Jurassic World badge again, Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. And then it's got a, uh, what is this? I think a navy blue roll cage. It's like shiny almost. And then a chrome chassis, uh, obviously, because this is the new casting for the SUV. It's got the new chassis mold or that rivet chassis. Um, and then it's got uh, blue rims, dark blue rims with red beadlocks. And that is the Gigantosaurus. So, yeah, those were um, all the new trucks that I found today. Uh, hope you enjoyed the unboxing and review of all these trucks. If you did, be sure to crush that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and be sure to turn on post notifications so you don't miss a new video when I upload one. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.